Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Fen. It's me, Akasha. Uh, today we're going to be finally getting back to one of our favourites, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Uh, Idiot Abroad. Good old Carl. Good old Carl. Season 1, episode 3. It's been about three weeks since we did the last mm -hmm. one. Just busy doing other stuff and obviously other things on the channel, including like the in-betweeners, which we can't yeah. get to upload. It keeps getting blocked if we have any in-betweener Idiot Abroad crossover fans. Uh, we have three, by the way. We've done one, two, blocked. and three yeah. that were blocked. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll get abroad them doesn't get blocked. But anyway, um, I don't remember where he's going to be in this one. Uh, oh no, I do. So I read it earlier. Jordan. Okay. Uh, Petra. Is Isn't Jordan be... by Libya? No. Okay. Jordan is in. A... <laughs> Jordan's in the middle. <laughs> It's all right, baby. You're American, and it's geography. It's fine. Oh, I just don't um, want to be that stupid bitch. <laughs> on, and I know there's going to be so many people that I like, knew. As soon as I said that, I was like, like shit. Of Americans course, the American. <laughs> shit. I mean, it's close. Our geography's not good, though. It's close enough. We're both Arabs, at least. That's brought, That's why I was thinking. But Jordan's uh, more Middle East. That's Middle East. That's next to uh, Syria, Lebanon, right. um, that kind of area. Libya's obviously North Africa. Right, right. Um <laughs> But yeah, he's going to be in Jordan, so there will be a bit of, uh, this is going to be a bit of a crossover for me because there'll be some Arab culture in there as well. Yeah. So I can definitely help even the viewers that might may not understand, uh, may understand the British side of Carl Pilkinson, but not what they're showing in Jordan. So maybe I can help with that. Me too, because you know. You're like so multicultural. Well, at least I'm, I've got a little bit of Arab knowledge. Uh, not multicultural, but I got the Arab knowledge. You got more than a little bit of Arab in you, babe. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the show. Oh my God. <laughs> Carl, you may have seen this place in the film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Petra in Jordan. Extraordinary, ancient city carved into the rock. Yeah, it's, it's, I suppose it's like cladding for a cave in a way. It's a, a an way. impressive entrance. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to live there. I'd love that to be my house. Would you? That would be amazing. But what I say about things like this is you're better to be in the cave across from it where you're looking at that. Oh. You're getting the nice view. The people living in this are looking at my hole. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I always think that about nice houses and stuff. Why you're better off in the council block right. across the road. Because you're looking at a state Because you're home. looking at the niceness. They're mm -hmm. looking at the grimness. Yeah, but you're living in the grimness. <laughs> we haven't seen the inside for a start. You're saying that's amazing. I'm saying it looks good from the outside. That's the sort of thing that on an estate agent you'll go, let's go and see that. But then you go, hang on a minute, why haven't it been sold yet? Is the reason. The inside's not that good. Well, let me know. It. Let me know if it's uh, if it's worth buying. And also, what does it face? Because if there's a shack across the road, <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'll buy the shack. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, Carl. It's Steve May. Now, obviously, uh, I know that you were intending to head to Jordan, but Rick and I were chatting, and we just thought it seemed mad for you to go all the way to the Middle East without stopping off in Israel. Right off the bat. Changing plans. Right. A holy land, Carl, all right? So um, we can arrange for you to, to stop off there, enjoy it, absorb it, let it get under your skin, mate, report back. Enjoy. Bye. When I started this off, there was no mention of coming to places like Israel. <laughs> Seven wonders of the world. That'll be all right. Where are they? Nowhere da dangerous. Are they? Jordan. Oh, they're in Jordan. Oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> Bless Israel's me. bad news. I don't know why we just couldn't go straight to Jordan. See the wonder, go home. You okay? When we went to India, What's that? You okay? None of this. What, 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 what do you mean? You okay? What, why, why are you asking Let's me that? Let's not get too political okay, on this no, podcast, yeah, okay? No, but I feel your energy from over no, here. No, it's fine. Israel's absolutely fine with okay. us Arabs. Okay. We went straight there. There was no stopping off. Let's just connect to Afghanistan. There was none of that. Straight there. So why are we messing about here? I mean, maybe it's not that bad, but all I know is whenever I hear about Israel, it's problems. That's all I see on the news. They never have a... And finally, you know, a happy story. The world's largest marrow has been grown in Israel. It doesn't happen, that. <laughs> it's never a fun story. It's that he's kicking off again. Stick my head in this place. Do you know what I mean? 
you've got blokes walking around with guns, I just feel like I'm, I'm constantly on alert. Because mm. it, there's an edginess to it, isn't there? There is a tenseness, though. Hello, 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 all right, Carl, uh, Steve here. <laughs> I forgot to mention to you that, that me and Ricky have arranged some extreme scenario training. I forgot to mention. Uh, obviously, you're in quite a sort of volatile region, and you need to be prepared in the event of uh, a kidnapping. I don't know what you're saying. He said to him, what's your name, you dog? <laughs> Okay. So there'll be a team of people who'll just jump out of you at some point when you least expect it, and uh, you know, sort of train you on how to react and how to behave. All right, hope you get this message before uh, it happens. I like how the first thing. I like how the first thing that they scream. They just grab him. Allah Akbar! Well, yeah. Allah Akbar! Obviously, we're trying not to make this political. I this know. one I said to you, we watched China, we watched India, you know, and this one I can actually make comments on. Always. The uh, West yeah, I know. is always trying to make Arabs look mental. Yeah, of course. Always. Hello, Akbar! Mininta! Mininta! Just like always trying to make us look like, you know, Carl's just walking by. Oh, in Israel, it's all <laughs> fine. There's police everywhere. I actually want to catch this bit. Hang on. What did he say to him? Just jump out of you at some point when you least expect it. And, uh, you know, sort of train you on how to react and how to behave. All right, hope you get this message before uh, it happens. <laughs> they are saying some, <laughs> some mad shit to Ray. Really? The son of a whore is what he just called him. Oh, God. He went, you son of a whore, you Ibn Sharmuta. <laughs> Be good, be good. Be good. I'm being good. Be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm being good. Hang on a minute. I'm Are you Fuck English? Me. You English? <laughs> Are you Who English? are you? What do you want? What are you doing with Israelis? I I'm just here on a holiday. Yes, on holiday. <laughs> you are a spy. I'm not You're a, a fucking spy. spy. I'm not a fucking You're spy. You're a fucking spy, Israeli spy. Who is there? He's your manager. Uh, what is the number of him? He's in my mobile. What mobile? What is the number of him? I don't oh, know. I, I, will, I, I don't even know my mum and dad's number. <laughs> me the fucking number of the Shabak. Uh, who, who, are, who are you giving this this all this shit? To Sky. 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 What Sky? To the Sky? Sky 1. <laughs> HD. You are Sky 1. <laughs> well, that's who we're giving all this <laughs> shit <HD>. to. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty frightening. You know, that most of the people. So yeah. I wonder if that was real, like if he actually knew nothing about. Right, that. or if he did, yeah. Because if so, that is fucking terrifying. I feel like he had to have known something about because that. Because he had to have known something. I think that was relatively. For this. I don't know if he's relatively calm or it's just because he's because calm, his because his the way his brain works, he, he can't panic. That's what's interesting about this show right. is that you don't know. Like I can't, right. I can't imagine I don't think that he's an they actor. wouldn't. I know, but I can't imagine they wouldn't mention something. Right. Do you know what what I mean? Because what if he, like, you know, like, literally pissed his pants or something like that? Or, like, literally freaked. Yeah, like, like, you know. Went into a full-fledged panic. Yeah, I just, I I don't know. But I wonder if, like you said, because it's Carl and he doesn't have it, he's just always even keel. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Maybe we could look into that. Mm. Go, 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 go! Look at him. Look at him. Check the other side. Go to the door. Stay there. Stay okay. back. How you feel? Knackered. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The music in the that back. Good. <laughs> These guys <laughs> wait for you in the corner. Yeah. I don't know if I saw the gun or not though. I mean, it just he looks like he's from Liverpool. I thought <laughs> he was very good. <laughs> yes, he looks like a scouser. A scouser. <laughs> he does look like a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like what he's... is this all about? You know, I thought I was seeing the wonders of the world. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, yeah. That beautiful? That's beautiful. The plane lands. I mean, Israel. That looks like it should be a little, um, like, thing that fits not, in your hand. Jordan, you know, where, where the wonder is. Israel. Yesterday I spent a day getting a bag put over my head. <laughs> and you turn around and say, oh, you might need that. 
you know, with being in Israel. Well, don't have me in Israel. Then. <laughs> that is so <laughs> unnerving, you know. Just no, that. It can't be that yeah. dodgy, can it? Because look at all the tourists. They sort of relax me a little bit, I think. Because you don't queue up to go into a danger zone. But there is a lot of people about with guns. You know, is it all part of it, though? Do they do that for the tourists? Does it, does it make the tourists feel like, oh, it's a bit edgy, but really, it's not going to kick off? I can't work out. Bit of both. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm just not that into religion. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't excite me. I don't need it in my life. But because I'm here, you know, Steve's sort of saying, well, you might as well see some of it. I said, well, like what? He said, well, the Wailing Wall. I said, you what? He said, the Wailing Wall. It's really popular over there. So I'm going to go and look at a wall. <laughs> this is all new to me. It's not like I've come here with any idea of what this is about. I've no idea. He's, they're all seem to be doing different things, you know. Some are kissing the wall. <laughs> He's nodding at it. People sticking bits of paper in. And there's bits of there's bits of rubbish in there. There's some sort of one of those insurance things. Oh, sorry. It's like a form about insurance or something stuck in that one. So they even get junk mail. There's junk, junk mail. mail. There's a weird one on the wall. It, it reminded me of like a people who write to Jim will fix it. You know, you're not going to get an answer, or not everyone anyway. It's a waste of time. I always think about an Do you alien. Do fix it like make a wish? Alien landed, mm -hmm. and for some reason they picked me, and they go, Carl, you're our leader whilst we're here. Why do people do this in Israel? I don't know. How do you explain that? Mm. It's not what I thought it would be, Jerusalem. I had this vision in the head of a place where, you know, Jesus was knocking about on a donkey. That's been shattered now. <laughs> and everywhere you go, there seems to be some other religious people coming out of the woods somewhere. It's like, it's like Pac-Man, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You go down a little alley thinking this will be quiet down here, and then a load of stuff comes at you. <laughs> Go on, Carl. Carl likes a dance. Nothing's ever easy, is it? You know, Steve said he sorted me out with a lift to get back to the hotel. Well, that's nice of him. And then this lot turned up. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life, this is all I want to do. I want to go around this car or another car every day and make people happy. Why not? This is what we do in traffic now. They were nice enough lads and that, but doing that is dangerous. And there's enough danger here, you know, with, you know, bombs going off or blokes walking about with guns. I don't need to add more danger to my little trip by dancing about on a busy road. You know how many smiles we're gaining right now? <laughs> we're saving, we're saving is he high? Now. Somebody knows, maybe the you know, he's uh, right now. Commit suicide, now he's smiling, now he doesn't want She's not smiling. Ask me a sticker from this. See a sticker? Yeah. You want to put it on the box? She's terrified. She's terrified. She's going, for God's sake. She, she, went, she went like that and locked the door. That's a public box. All right. The lights are changing. Lights, 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 lights. Now he's getting pissed. He wants to get the fuck out of there. Oh, we're not getting out again. Where are you going? <laughs> And it took ages, didn't it? You know, I mean, I might as well have got on a bus. You know, at least a bus has less stops than they do. I mean, at every hundred yards, they were getting out and having a dance. That is annoying. Yeah, it's great. Come on with us, come on with us. Just for a bit, come on. Two minutes, two minutes. Go on, Carl. Never going to get where he's going. On a corner, come pick a dangerous spot. This is the most dangerous place. <laughs> He's legging it. Yeah, I felt a bit bad about jumping out and legging it, but I don't like dancing, <laughs> do it. You know, I, I don't dance at weddings, so I'm not going oh, to. I spoke man. to Steve this morning, and he said, "Oh, get yourself over to to Bethlehem, see where baby Jesus was born." Bit of a problem. I found out it's in Palestine, which you know that's another place I've heard nothing but bad news about. Plus, I've got to get over a massive wall to get to it. It's just ugly. And it goes on for miles. I mean, they're not messing about, are they? I kind of thought, I bet there's some way you can sneak under it or over it or... But there's no way. 
Well, you've got to call London before we go over, mate. That's good. The man, the man in charge of making sure I'm safe. All right, Richard, it's Carl, about to go over the border. If you don't hear from us in four hours, it's all gone tits up. <laughs> I mean, that, that's Richard, that sums him up. He's always on the phone. So of all the people to have as our emergency number, you know, calling 999, it's engaged, sums him up. That checkpoint was a bit weird, wasn't it? I mean, I sort of felt guilty, even though he hadn't done anything. They've literally got. I've got a Palestinian. Fan. Again, we're trying not to get too political, and make it fun. But you see how Palestinians are literally locked inside, mm -hmm. like it's like a ginormous prison. Yeah. And then you, they won't be dancing around in a bus like you just right, saw about right, five minutes right. ago. Right. Anyway, I'm fine. Are you Carl? Yeah. Hi, I'm Kais. How are you? I'm Kais. How was it? Depressing. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think it would have that effect on me. I'm not that sort of person, really. Right. You know, if you're passing here every day, it's not depressing. If you're walking, waking up every morning and seeing this ugly concrete stuff in front of your eyes, then it's depressing. Be my guest. This is my car. Safe. Huh? Safe. Yeah, of course it's safe. I have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I have insurance. Are these for us? Yeah, it's a gift from the Holy Land. Oh, Holy Land it feet. makes holy music. I don't think that when I'm playing it. See, there's nothing like that at home. There's we, nothing we like that anywhere on Earth. No. <laughs> True. We have a congestion charge that caused a little bit of fuss. If you drive into London, you have to pay eight pounds. Everybody was like, this is an outrage. But it's nothing compared to this. Honestly, uh, this is costing the people more than eight pounds, man. This is costing them their future. Right. Is it going to be busy in there? Well, check it out. Did you close your door well? Yeah. Is anyone going to nick it? I mean, it's a religious yeah, thing. Lots, of, people, lots of cops, so don't worry. People who are into religion shouldn't be nicking cars. So why are these a big deal, then? Why, why are we bringing these, eh? Because the shepherds. And the shepherds came to the site of birth carrying flutes. What's your head, man? Anything you need, you can ask us. The, the flute says, no, you cannot. The fruit says, and the shepherds came to the site of birth carrying fruits. Whatever you cannot use it inside. Okay. okay? We just. <laughs> okay. This is where Jesus was born. Right there. Right there. On this rock. Can anyone prove that? Are you allowed to touch it? You can touch it. You can kiss it. You can. I think that's all. <laughs> you can do with it. How do they know that? It's right. all tradition saying that this is the place, but. Does Jesus want us to come here and see where was he born and touch the stones and go crying and blah, blah, blah? I don't think so. Uh, I come with you on that. I've been here four days now, and we're only just going to the wonder. But um, I was looking in the guidebook, and we passed the Dead Sea this way. And it's just been nice for me to have a bit of a restful day. Ricky doesn't even need to know. Looks quite good. I'm not a great swimmer. But the good thing with the Dead Sea is you just float about in it. It's like loads of salt in it. It's another experience, isn't it? It's one of life's little wonders. A proper wonder, a natural wonder, which is the sort I like, really. <laughs> Could he look more British? Right. It's not too busy, either. <laughs> I thought it'd be a right tourist trap. Is all right, this. Uh, something that I read in the book. This is the lowest place on the world. I know we don't normally have sort of information on this program and that, like not proper stuff anyway, but that's a little bit. It's the lowest place. This is, you can't get lower than this. Like sea level, is that mm. what you're talking about? I don't know why. I don't even know if it's true, but that's what I've read. I don't know either. Yeah. So I might as well give it a go. Everybody else seems to be doing it. Right. You just Whatever float. I'm doing, I've got to Because the salt, quick. right? That the salt so concentration is so high. <laughs> What's wrong with them? It's really uneven. That looks horrible. He's so awkward. <laughs> I can really do, you know? <laughs> 
fucking hell, you know? I don't even have to, like, do anything. This is ace. Carl, what's going on in your, with your belly button, mate? What the fuck is that? Is that a fag end? <laughs> a what? A fag end. Any ideas? Oh, isn't a fag a cigarette? That's right. Oh, so the end of a... The stub, basically. A fag end. <laughs> okay. Is that a fag end, pop? <laughs> was that... Was that someone's goz? It looks like someone's god dinner. Flynn. Fucking hell, it is as well. Ew. <laughs> Phone. Come here. Hello? What's going on? I'm just in the in the Dead Sea. Floating around? Yeah, just floating around with someone's goz. <laughs> oh. There's old people in here just clearing the throats and that. I just had some in my belly button. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> so that's what's floating above. Christ knows what's floating under me. Maybe that's why I'm floating around. 90% looking... <laughs> 90% oh, guitar. I was going to say is. taste it to see how salty it is, but don't. It's nice, um, though. It's good, this. Now, yeah. Carl, get out of the Dead Sea, put some clothes on, and do some fucking work. I've been You're doing work for, I've been doing... As soon as he's happy for ten I seconds. I know. Get yeah, out. He said ten seconds. He went, oh, I quite like this. Carl, get the fuck out. <laughs> we want to see you miserable. I've been work for four days. This is an experience still. It's good for the program. I'm explaining to people how it's loads of salt in it. You float about. Yeah. It's good for your skin. It's We're not, not good for your skin. If you're covered in old people's vomit and shit <laughs> and phlegm and snot. I don't, I, I've never seen that on any Alan Wicker Exactly, show, or exactly. Palin. This is I, the I, truth. I, I got it the Dead Sea. <laughs> it's right, it's the truth. There is. This is, a, this is not a travel show. He sounded a bit pissed off that I was having a rest, didn't he? Yeah, it's good to be in Jordan, but we could have been here days ago, couldn't we? Petra's only down the road. We could drive there. But Ricky's come up with this idea that, you know, I meet a local bloke called Mohammed who's got a camel. You know, how long's that gonna take? My friend. Hello. We need to cross this route. And, and how many hours? How many hours that way? <laughs> I hear him. At least 48 hours, two days. Full days is a camel. <laughs> oh, oh, no. On a camel. Hold here. <laughs> I love camels though. <laughs> right. Would you like some music? What kind of music do you have? It's just music, no singing. When I'm a little bit stressed, it calms me. <laughs> Ladies sing. There's no singing, it's just a, a man on a clarinet. Ah, nice, isn't it? Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. You teach me English song, I'll teach you Bedouin song. <laughs> this is even more funny for me. Okay. Obviously, being half Brit and half Arab, like. <laughs> He's gonna teach you. Yeah, that's a clarinet. First of all, he has no idea what a fucking clarinet is. The Arab dude, no idea what a clarinet is. You teach me English, I teach you Bedouin song. Bedouin is the classic uh, Arab, the original, like okay. you know. The I'm trying to think of, like an English equivalent, but okay. just imagine really old and traditional okay. Bedouin. <laughs> Two different worlds colliding. my friend good yeah how's your ass now <laughs> you know. look you can see up here it's going on for miles <sighs> just doesn't make sense does it why why do why do people live in the middle of nowhere when you've got to travel that sort of distance to get to somewhere because he was saying some people have to do that once a week to nip to the shops and they get a big order in then carry it all the way back move then move closer to the shop or open a shop <laughs> 
Terrific. What's it like where we're staying tonight? Maybe we found a bit with tents. Maybe be alone in the desert, in the sand dunes. Sometimes the Bedouins, they move. I don't know. You must have a plan. This is desert. We don't know what's the desert keep for us. <laughs> we'll see. Needs a rest. Yeah. <sighs> Tired. This camel's knackered. <laughs> <laughs> keep stopping every ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel bad. That could be a good camel. It's just sort of moaning, isn't it? Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking sick of it. <laughs> He's tired. We're gonna carry it now by the uh, by the, car. the van. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do that at the beginning. Right. That's all weird oh, though. No, it was like a breakdown, so a breakdown in the desert. Later, not <laughs> sitting on the back. No, it's knackered, it's gonna cost you. But to be honest, it's a bit of luck that, because I've had enough. I'm up to here with this. Camels, camels have been around for years. The ships of the desert. That's what they're known as. I feel like that camel's got something We've wrong ended with up it. with Titanic. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> These are all his sons. Yeah, all his sons. But I'm not allowed to see the mother. No. At all. I'm not even to say hello. Thanks nope. for having us. No. Nope. Forbidden. No way. That's why the. What about this, what, you see, what about by accident? That's why the house. <laughs> it's covered. But say if I go to the toilet. I knock. Do, 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 do. I'm not. I'm in here. She comes out. I see her. That's not her fault. That's my fault. So. What happens then? This is by mistake. No problem. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit extreme for TV. Day. Right. We said, oh, they don't get many guests here, so it's a bit polite. But there was a big pot or something in there that looked like some sort of milk. I'm not seeing any cows, so I don't know where it's come from. I'm not a fan of milk anyway. <gasps> it's not being rude. It's just I don't want to eat it. I don't want to get ill. I'm, I'm surprised they don't want me to get ill because we're all sharing that little toilet. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Honest to God, it's moonlight. Now, hold on. How did you get there? Did you go by camel? Eight hours on a camel. I bet you got a big, couple of big fallen humps, didn't you? Well, I tell you, it's not funny. I mean, I, I reckon I've done some damage. It was just long and it was hot. That is quite a good description of a desert. It's not only hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, that's what I'm saying, though. There's nothing to look at. It's not like it's worth doing so many hours. After half an hour, you've seen yeah, it. Yeah, but Carl, Carl, I think I can break this to you now. This wasn't for your amusement. This was for my amusement. And if you're having a bad time, bumping up and down on a camel, being de de dehydrated, with your, your, your testicles being battered, <laughs> that's good entertainment. <laughs> For me and Sky One viewers. It's not though. So this I... is what I'm giving back. This is what I'm giving back to society. You are my gift to the rest of the world. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Something's just fucking run up my leg. Can I call you tomorrow or something? Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Mate. See you later. As he lays back down his that? Right, right. See ya. Fucking hell. Can we just eat and go to bed? That does look miserable. Oh, God, look at this. Don't put too, um, too much of that, that on, on look cooked, my That doesn't even look cooked, you know. Bit. I, can't, um, I can't have too much of that. It's the thing. The what? The thing. The thing for the goats. It was a goat. No, why? Come on. Oh, thank you. Eat more. Can come oh, and look at this? Eat more. It's a meat. It's not from the goat. But what bit is it though? That's not meat. It's so the eye. Yeah, I can't just... eat the eye. I'll tell you now, I've got a very bad gag reflex. Now, if gag I eat reflex. that and I start gagging, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> He'll think I'm rude. He has no idea what gagging is. This is a weird night out, isn't it? <laughs> what time do we normally go to sleep? Why do they put oh, the bags on their face so Sam doesn't get like in their nose and stuff? I have no idea. I'm I thought so. it was to eat. I thought there was food in there and they said strap the bag to their head. 
I thought literally they there said must just... have been the food in there originally to get them to put their head in it. Uh, but then maybe they wrap. I don't know. I thought I, you might know I... if you're. You call yourself an Arab. <laughs> I just want to see the wonder today, Petra. That's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm not in any mood for messing about. I didn't sleep that well last night. I had a rough day yesterday, 10 hours on the back of a camel in roasting heat. I've just spoke to Mohammed. He said, we're not even a quarter of the way there yet. I mean, does he think I'm going to be getting on a camel again? Like, how are we going to get there? We could have drove on this brilliantly yesterday, but we, we were on a camel instead. We can now drive. We don't have a car, my friend. We have a camels. Yeah, but they broke down yesterday. Why can't we just get in that one? Oh, we have to buy a camel. We don't have to. I don't need to get on a camel again. But we are on the, have the way now. The program's an hour long. We've done eight hours of filming on a camel. Okay. You do the math. I'm not going on a fucking camel again. I swear to God. We've talked about this. I'm bored of arguing with you. If you're not listening, I'm not listening. I'm not going on a camel again. Come on. I'm not going on a camel again. What? I'm not going on a camel again. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going on a camel again. We have, not going on a camel. We have one not going day on more. a camel again. Okay, we get to go with this car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so how long will it be by car? It's a couple of hours. A couple of hours by car. Right. I mean, you've got to prefer this, haven't you? That would be like a week so of traveling on a camel, yo. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be in a good mood then when we see Petra and I'll go, oh, wow. Amazing. They are just poking him. Oh, of course. How far yeah. they can push him. And even the producers probably went, all right, okay, we found the line. Yeah. Let's get in the car. So we're in now. This is the start of it, is it? We are now in the beginning of the city of Petra. Okay, my friend, I have to leave you now. But Best that's the thing. Car, These people probably yeah. wouldn't even See do that either again. at this point. They would take a car, so. I love how they have them dressed in the traditional <laughs> Arab. <laughs> <laughs> Said that, welcome to Petra. He said pa Petra is Latin for um, I forgot now. <laughs> this is the problem with this. There's too much to tack in. I mean, I, I didn't come here for a Latin lesson. I just want to know where the wonder is and let's have a look at it. Scaffolding everything. It's always by this point in the episode he's starting to lose it. Right. Hang on. Hello? Alright. Alright, right, what's going on? I've, uh, I'm just, just stood in front of the wonder. Yeah? That was a waste of time last night, staying with the Bedwins. Why? He gave me lamb's eyes to eat. Uh, I slept on hard floor all night, so I feel like shit. That's, that's how I'm feeling. I mean, it's, it, it looks alright. I'm sure if I was in a better mood, I'd big it up. I'm basically in the middle of a load of rock and someone's carved it out, and it is amazing. But I don't know yeah. what, what more there is to say than that. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. You're spending the night in a cave, Carl, tonight. What for? <laughs> it's going to be one What's look at it. It's funny. What? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Steve said I've got to find a fella called Ibrahim who's going to let me stay in his cave. It's been a long day. How are you? How are you doing? So what do you put down? <laughs> as a, what do you put down as an address? Jordan just, Petra, that's Just all. Jordan. That's yeah. never going to get to you. Yeah, that's it. You will be and the around. postman would know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know it. And, and everything you order yes. always yes. gets to your house. Yeah. Yeah. That's Their cave. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe that because I order stuff uh -huh. and get it delivered. Sometimes it doesn't turn up. Yeah. And I've got a postcode. That's amazed me more than the wonder. Yeah. True though. Yeah. That, that you can get post delivered. I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah. What facilities are in the cave? Uh, we put the uh, mattress, uh, we make the fire, and we sleep wherever, between the sky and the land. Not like uh, the city. Ricky called and says, You're staying in the cave, and starts laughing. And I pictured the sort of caves you get in Wales where it's all sharp. Sharp edges, really damp, and the sea comes in at some point in the night. I get here, decent size, 
dead warm, dead cosy. Nice touch with the candles. <laughs> I tell you, I've seen houses that are worse than this. I think I can, I, I can s sort of fit into this way of life. It is like holiday, every day. Nice little holiday home. But he is a bit he, of a caveman, like, isn't he? Like, yeah, it, it, like inside. basic. He is quite basic, so these guys are just in a cave, barbecuing like fresh meat. Mm -hmm. Happy as Larry. Right. Like this. Having a drink. He just wants somewhere Excuse comfy to sleep and some good food, really. <laughs> He's got a beer and everything. Right, Ricky chilling. Ricky I'm a bit like, you know, a caveman. And I haven't really evolved. It's just the shape of my head and the way my eyebrows come out a bit. <laughs> He has maybe no idea what he's maybe, all about. Uh, I was born a bit late. <laughs> oh, no. He's well happy. Well, I'm glad. He deserves it, honestly. Yeah. A few of us. I haven't got a clue out of the time. I turn the tap on still and I go, how's water coming out of that? I'm lucky because I'm around because someone else has come up with it. But at the True. end of the day, if stuff was left down to me, I'd still be living in here. <laughs> If I was lucky, you know, I don't know if I could come up with this. He just was saying how they used to do it. He said they put a hole in the rock, stick like a tree trunk in it, put water in, and the wood expands. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Makes the hole bigger. There's no way I'd come up with that. I won't come up with that now. And yet they did that three and a half thousand years ago. Slept all right once I got off, really. Um, there's a cat mooching about now and again, wandering in. But I suppose that's the problem when you haven't got a front door, isn't it? That was a good night. Best yeah. night since I've been here. Yeah. I'd do it again, yeah. you know. Whilst I've been in this part of the world, there's not many things that have happened that I'd say I'd do that again. Uh -huh. But that, I would. So, yeah, I loved it. Really, really smart. OK. Enjoyed that. I can Good. imagine Glad. living Me too. at this time. I can picture myself just coming out of a little hole, just with a club, um, thinking, what am I going to do today? And it's, it's easy to invent stuff back then, because there was nothing else about. So anything you needed, you come up with it. What a dry my hands. I've just washed my hands. I'll do a towel. Everything. Anything you think of. This soup's hard to eat. What a spoon? Do you know what I mean? Where you He's can, really going you back now. You think of something now. You try and come up with something now that you need now. Came up with a see-through toaster. Do you know, because you always do that, you're thinking, is it done yet? And you have to keep pressing the spring and then you end up breaking it because you forced the spring open. See-through toaster. Went online, typed it in. It's already been invented. <laughs> Dragon's Den back then would have been a piece of piss. Everybody who came in, that's a bloody good idea. Get it made. Sitting at the summit of Jabal Adair is Petra's grandest monument of all, Adair. The name is the Arabic word for monastery. Do take advantage of this moment and immerse yourself in the magnificence and mysticism of this historic place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even go in it. That's ridiculous. Can you not? I mean, that's, that's useless, oh. isn't it? Who's put them there? That's, I mean, look. <laughs> but my point is, you sat in there, and that's your view over there. But if you look here, point proven. You're better off living in the hole, looking at the palace, than living in the palace, looking at the hole, aren't you? Right. So Ricky and Steve can say I'm a knob. I think that's my point proven, isn't it? But I wasn't just talking about buildings. I mean, in life, even being a good-looking person or an ugly one, in a way, you're better off being the ugly one and you get to look <laughs> at nice things. Don't know about that, like. You're looking at the nicer-looking people. Doesn't matter about being ugly. How often do you look at yourself anyway? Same thing. Be the ugly one, look at the nice one. <laughs> What's that? Who owns that? Why is a dog so high up? It's not going to show up, that dog, is it? 
Oh, fuck me. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a donkey. We know that now. Uh, all right. Petra. Did you enjoy the episode? Yeah, I did. Still love Carl? Yeah, of course. Legend. Mm-hmm. National treasure. Yeah. So out of the three now that we've watched, Great Wall of China, Taj Mahal, and Petra, if you had to choose which one, if they had to, you had to, you're only allowed to go to one, which one would you go but to? But here's the thing. Here's the question. Are you go saying on. just to go see and look at, well, but we have our own experience, like we stay in like a nicer hotel. We don't well, have to stay what, in a cave. Gonna, you, we're not going to get in a camel for eight hours. So you're talking about just actually the wonder. Yeah, if you thought about, yeah, just, just the wonder itself, if you had to go visit one of them. Probably Taj Mahal. Yeah, out of the three of them. Probably, because there's more to see with the Taj Mahal, see, I think. See, I'd be more interested in going to Petra, I think. But you're Arab, so... Well, not even that, though. That would be, it would be a close uh, a close tie between the two. The reason, so Great Wall of China, to me, okay, just it's a wall. Like you just call it, all right, Wall of China, like yeah, Kyle said. Yeah, with bears and stuff. Right. But with this one, with Petra... You kind of just, I mean, the, the desert is cool. Like, I, I, I like the desert. Right. Especially when we stayed in that resort. That was my vibe. Right. Anyway. But you just kind of, okay, it's cool. You look at it. But again, you can't really even, like, but at least the Taj Mahal, you could, like, walk around it. There was some, like. You could walk around that one, too. And I think, I, I don't know which one's could you? older I as thought well. That I think was... that one's older as well. I don't I think, think you can walk around it. It was in carved in the No, thing. but I think it's a city. Petra's like an actual, you know what I mean? You yeah. see how he was walking through those like cave looking things at the beginning. So it's not just well, like Well, yeah, one... that's the city, but I'm saying the wonder, of, we're just talking about the wonder of the world. You, that's what you just said. Yeah. I think, well, the whole idea is supposed to be, I think the whole city's supposed to be. Like when I think of wonder of the world, anyway, the idea of a wonder is that we just wonder how did they make this or right. whatever. The only one that for me that like, how did you make it is the pyramids. The other ones are all Yeah, that shit's possible. crazy, dude. That's crazy. Um, the other one, they're the ones that are kind of impossible because of their weight and because of the, the way it's symmetrically built and stuff. So I don't know, but I'd have to choose that. Okay. Anyway, discussion over. All right. Uh, <laughs> so we'll probably carry on with... Uh, the rest of the series. Yeah. I think, I believe there's three, maybe four more episodes. Well, it should be four more episodes of The Seven Wonders. Okay. Um, but uh, that was uh, that was entertaining. Anyway, anything else you want to add, sweetie? No, I liked it. Brilliant. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry uh, for the delay in between the episode two and three. Um, we'll try and get four done quicker. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Instagram at Culture Clash Reactions. Always a pleasure, good people of Culture Clash. We'll see you next time.